Stop talking about fragrance is something that it stemmed from me opening up an Instagram account and being very embarrassed about following perfumes and, and my journey, <laughs> a fragrance journey. I felt like uh, it was something that I couldn't talk to other people about because they, they didn't share the same um, passion. I, I grew up loving perfumes and collecting perfumes and just stuff you'd find at Sephora and in the mall and then forgot about it for a long time. And then a couple years back, maybe three years ago, I realized that there's a whole world of content on YouTube and everywhere. People are talking about and reviewing perfumes and the things that make up each perfume and people following different fragrance brands. There is the, the store-bought mall mass marketed fragrances. But now, a couple of years back, there was a new frontier of independent perfumery. There's, there was a whole world that I just like, I, why am I not in this? Like, how do I not, how am I not like, for someone who's grown up loving perfumes, like why am I not uh, following these people? And there's very like fun, like energetic, charismatic people talking about just their, their love for perfume. And they looked like they were having the best time. That's a wrap. That was the last thing. I don't know if you can see, but I am covered in sweat. That is a wrap, everybody. What I'm mostly excited about is olfactory sense memory. And it's something in, in, your, in your body that if you smell something, you will remember certain things. If it, if it connects with something you grew up with, if you remember the smell of you know, the soap that your mom used to use when she was washing the dishes or the trees that you used to grow up with or certain flowers. Your brain actually takes that and physically makes a protein. So now you have this physical part of you that has, is attached to the smell. It's, it's almost like time traveling in a way. It's really, really quite awesome. If I really like something, I will animate it and, and do something to celebrate just how good it is and what it brings to mind and the visions that are kind of like in my head. I'll just take the discovery set or a perfume bottle and build little sets around it and make it move. A lot of it is stop motion. Um, almost 80% of what I do on stop talking about fragrance is stop motion. For, for me to do an animation on a fragrance that is commissioned, it usually involves about a three to four week period where I have time to create a set, I have time to fully flesh out what, what's gonna be on screen, um, storyboarding and pretty much everything that I've, I've learned so far of how to create something from beginning to end, adding music and doing Foley work with the actual perfumes. So every sound that you hear within um, the stop motion parts are me kind of using the actual bottles and you know trying to make sounds with them and, and, and with the packaging as, it's just, as a fun thing for me. No one ever is, is gonna figure that out, but, oh, sorry, just toss that. No one's ever gonna really notice that it's gonna be the actual sound of the bottles and stuff, but that's just for me. And then sometimes, you know, these are clear bottles that are sometimes different colors. So I will shine lights into the bottles and light the scene with it. It's just trying to figure out what your materials are and how to push the boundaries of like what you can do with them. And like using a perfume bottle as a color gel for, um, to promote that fragrance is something that I was like, oh, I actually really like doing that. And you might not know it, but I do behind the scenes videos all the time of how I do it and then kind of reveal these little quirky things that you can 
find out. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We'd love it if you'd subscribe to our channel so that we can keep bringing you more creative people and their experiences. Thanks again for watching.